We have uh, uh, officially established uh, a hybrid rice research and development consortium as a unique public and private sector partnership uh, that includes uh, ERI as a convening center, uh, but also uh, nearly about 20 private sector seed companies, uh, as well as uh, NGOs uh, and a large number of public sector institutions with uh, interest and activities in hybrid rice breeding and management and uh, technology uh, promotion. Uh, this consortium uh, will generate uh, income through the membership fees that uh, private sector members pay through fees for germplasm that uh, will be utilized by private sector members and the income will feed back into strengthening uh, public sector breeding programs at ERI at its NAS partners. It will also provide a new mechanism for making germplasm available to the private sector. New guidelines for this that also ensure sustained income and sustained um, uh, revenue that we can utilize uh, for strengthening the research and development activities, including capacity building for young scientists um, uh, in developing countries with particular emphasis on rice breeding and hybrid rice. And we look forward uh, to this as a very unique new public-private sector partnership uh, that uh, many of our NAS partners can also utilize in the future to directly uh, deal with the private sector in terms of uh, making their own germplasm available and following uh, consistent guidelines that will in the end uh, make hybrids better, better performing and more available at lower cost uh, to many more rice farmers in Asia. And through that uh, we believe uh, hybrid rice will truly become a pro-poor technology uh, that will have a major impact uh, on bringing up yield growth rates uh, that have slowed down in the recent 10 to 20 years.